This morning's edition of A Better You brings us the personal story of a local nurse whose ordinary drive home turned dangerous. On the night of June 7th, Brenna Bouchaw was on her way home from a friend's house when she became the victim of, of a severe act of random violence. As she drove her car, a man pulled up next to her and fired three shots in her direction. One bullet grazed her head. The shooter was a complete stranger and it turns out he was trying to bait police because he wanted to commit suicide by cop. Now Brenna is sharing her story on how she coped with this random incident and continued on with her life. Hi everybody, it's Joey and I know that you know some of this story and here she is. This is Brenna. She's amazing. Brenna, how do you cope with the day, the next day? I mean, what were some of your strategies for overcoming what other people might deem a life altering event? I would say the biggest thing is that I had resources available to me through work. Um, my employer offers counseling programs that are free and they I think it's the first six sessions are free and then you can choose to continue after that. But having someone to talk to after mm -hmm. this happened to me was huge and just having someone tell me that what I went through was not my fault and that everything was okay and that it was okay to not feel good and to not feel wow. like myself. That's good. I like it. You need permission to know it's okay Yeah. to not be okay. Right. So people that are watching this, I always think there's somebody that's inspirational and there's somebody that needs to hear that story. Mm -hmm. I definitely think you're inspirational. <laughs> I just love it. Thank talking you. Talking to you and, and just seeing you rise up after this. Mm -hmm. What would you say to the person that maybe is watching right now that says, yeah, but I don't, you don't know what I've been through. It's, it's, it was this huge traumatic event. It was this random thing. It just fell out of the sky and now I can't move forward. I would say that it's, you can move forward and it's, you know, you decide how something like this is going to affect you and it's look for help. It's okay to talk to somebody. It's okay to ask for help. Um, and then just try to find things that interest you again. The counselor that I saw was amazing and she recommended these kickboxing classes that I take now and that's been huge for me in almost a self-defense kind of way so that I feel a little more safe yeah. but it's gotten me out and active and I've met a lot of people through that which is amazing yeah. and again just knowing that it was okay to talk to someone and let these feelings out and even if I wasn't feeling sure about it and kind of terrified, having someone that was completely out of it and not involved hearing my side of the story mm -hmm. and that it's okay to talk to people is Man, huge. You just nailed it. You <laughs> nailed it. It's okay to talk to people. So to sum up, yeah. you're awesome <laughs> and you're my hero. Oh, thanks, Thank Joe. you so much for Thank coming you. on today. We'll see you next time, guys, on A Better You.